Hello there and welcome back to another edition of the Hot Lap Classic Remastered. This time we're taking a look at the 1983 Toyota Corolla Levin GT Apex. Our second AE86 platform to take on the course. We had a 85 Sprinter Trino, now we've got the Corolla, which I guess is my favourite of the two because it's got a name I recognise on it. As I discussed in that video, I'm not a big fan of these vehicles. They don't do anything for me, so... We'll see how this gets along. Uh, the 1983 ones are going to run natural aspiration. The 85s are going to run the turbos because otherwise there's literally no difference between these and those. Anyways, this car is going to get six laps of the Metasports Land track in order to set the best time it possibly can. Our current leader is the Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution 5 RS, which set a time of a 27.806. The Terreno is unlikely to beat that. The last E86 to go round... Admittedly, this was yonk to go, and I don't think it was as quick as maybe it could have been. Uh, a 31.849, so it's in 117th place. Are we expecting this to beat it? I don't really know. Um, 201 horsepower, 825 kilos is not particularly impressive statistically. But this does feel quite sprightly for 200 horsepower. It's also got a cool racing mod. Uh, that's the one thing I will definitely give the A86s in this game. All of them have uh, a unique and interesting racing mod. But that 85, we saw it had that sort of like faux wide body on it. Well, as this one's got the... Uh, I think this is from a touring car of the time. I'm not really sure, but I really like the colour scheme on this one. 32.091 definitely can go. A little bit quicker than that. It's a nice driving car, this. I remember the turbo car was a little bit, well, sideways, as you'd expect these to be. This one, though, I guess because it hasn't got enough power to really get yourself uh, into trouble with. Actually, drives really quite nicely. It actually reminds me a lot of the uh, Unos Roadster we had go around, the 89 with natural aspiration. Uh, which is ironic because I think these cars are actually quite similar in terms of performance. This has gone very slightly quicker. But, yeah, they, they are actually quite similar cars, really, in the way that they're... There's not enough power to get yourself killed, but, you know, they're cheap, so it's fine, <laughs> basically. And as we all know, Unos's and uh, Terrenos in this game are pretty darn cheap. It does have to be said. Oh, we are going to go a little bit quicker. 31.6, yeah. As I said with that other train now, A, there's always 200 in everything, and also B, um, yeah, that car went round a long time ago. And while I didn't think I could get much better at this course, considering I already drove it for, like, thousands of laps beforehand, um, apparently you can, so... Not gonna complain, but still. I don't think, my, my sector two in this was absolutely phenomenal, so I don't think I'm gonna be able to match uh, what I did in sector two with this, somehow. But we'll see. Yeah, I was really quick through that uh, corner. Quite surprising. We are going to go quicker. 31.441. I've discussed this a couple of times, the phenomenon of if a car is easy to drive, it's easier to get the lap time out of it. And this is definitely one of those where I can very much hit the peak of its performance because it's so easy to drive. Um, which is good. So, and like I say, don't worry about the uh, the other turbo sprinter because we've got a turbo Corolla to uh, come round at some point. So I guess we'll find out its true um, pace there. You could maybe go a little bit quicker. Maybe, but... Now, it's a really nice car to drive that. I can't fault it as much as I want to because I don't like these things or the hype surrounding them. Uh, it's a good car. 31.441 will place this into 101st place. Admittedly, it does go between an Opal Corsa and a Mini Cooper, but if you 
think about this series uh, in terms of what else it's around, it's pretty good. Um, only slightly slower than the Tom Super and the Touring X, and this is, you know, f three times less the power of those, so... Yeah. Really good car. Really, really good car. Just nice, consistent, easy. Uh, only loses this out slightly to an S14, so... Uh, admittedly, it's lightweight, but... No, the, the whole reason that's this far up the leaderboard is because it's just a nice handling uh, car. Anyways, that's it for this episode. Thank you all very much for watching. Join me next time when I'll be driving something completely different. Until then, farewell.